What's good everyone? Welcome back to another video. I, I, I think I said in the last video I was going to try to get more than one in today. Well, if I didn't, surprise, surprise, motherfucker. All right, so this video, I'm sure you can already see what mag I got here, all right? It's going to be based around this round, 556, five, also known as the 556 five, by 45, 556 five, NATO, whatever, whatever the fuck y'all want to call it. Swear in the gun community, there's never been more names for one thing than fucking calibers. But regardless, all right, is it good for self defense? Now, granted, Rosie, I swear to fucking God, if I hear that squeaking one more time, I'm gonna shove that fucking toy so far up your ass, you're gonna be tasting that fucking bullshit made rubber for breakfast. Yeah, yeah drop that toy, girl. Quit playing with me. I've had a long day, I ain't about to hear that shit. So, as I was saying, <clears throat> 5.56, five, is it good for self-defense? The video is going to be a little bit shorter than my normal, you know, caliber self-defense opinion videos, I guess, if you, that's how you want to label them. I don't know. I never thought of a title for them, even though I have a good fucking amount of them. But that's neither here nor there, all right? The reason why it's going to be shorter is because, obviously, most firearms <laughs> chambered in 5.56 five, are not, you know, something you're concealed carrying in the sense if you have it on your person. I think that's safe to say. And no, I don't consider having it in your backpack as having it on your person. I mean physically to where you can have it out and ready to use in one to two seconds. Now, I understand if you, like, fumble with your shirt, that's a different story, you know, but whatever. All right. I think y'all get what I'm trying to get at. So without further ado, let's go ahead and start it off with just, you know, home defense. Most firearms, most, most firearms... All right, that are chambered in 5.56 five, have the capability of having the light on them. So that's definitely going to be helpful in a home defense situation. <laughs> However, we're talking about the round itself. All right. Overall, 5.56 five, does a pretty good job at stopping people. All right. And I mean, here's what I can say if y'all don't believe me, if I'm not mistaken, didn't Rittenhouse use 5.56 five, FMJ? Yeah. You 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 ask them two motherfuckers in the duel with a spicy bicep whether or not it's, it's good for stopping people. Then you come back to me and tell me, girl, what I say? Two minutes in, she's already trying to start shit. Y'all see what I deal with? As I was saying. So it's definitely good at stopping somebody, for sure. There's no doubt about that. I think anybody who really argues, oh yeah, it won't stop somebody, is fucking stupid. I can really honestly say that. Uh, I mean, hell, look, I just got into an argument with somebody today in the comments. They claim they know somebody who got shot in the head with a 5.56, five, and they survived perfectly fine. Now, I don't know whether that's accurate or not. I'm sure there's a possibility of it. I'm sure it's a slim possibility, but I'm sure there is a possibility. Now, 5.56 five, is a decently fast round, and no, for all you ballistic experts, quote unquote, who fucking watch Joe Biden's speeches, no, it is not five times faster really than <clears throat> almost any fucking caliber. I, I don't, honestly, I can't think of one off the top of my head that 5.56 five, is five times faster than. So let's get that out of your, you know, your thought process. It is a pretty fast round. Now, here's what I will say is that fucking crackhead. Okay, Hunter Biden, calm the fuck down. Jesus, so sorry. All right, she's being very rude. I guess she's excited about my return. I don't know. Not even like this is my first video back. You were so calm during the first one. Wait, was she in the kennel during that one? No, she wasn't. You were so calm during the first one. Damn. As I was saying, though, let's get back to 556 five, in home defense. It definitely would, you know, uh, it definitely would stop, you know, it, it definitely has to stop in power behind it. Now, a good thing about 5.56 is that most firearms chambered in 5.56 have a good capacity. You know, you can, if you're getting a chode ass fucking 10 round fucking 5.56 mag for your AR or your AR pistol or whatever, I think we know where you stand as far as, you know, I, we'll call it man levels. Just be nice. Bitch, I set. I swear to fucking God. You want to try me? Drop it. Made me get up. I swear to fucking God. That's what I thought. Don't make me get up. 
Go somewhere now. Go away from that fucking toy. I'm tired of hearing that shit. Not trying to be a dick, but goddamn, there's a time and a place, all right? And what I'm recording is not the time or the place. <clears throat> As I was getting to. If you're putting the 10-round little chill mags in there, we, we know you got a fucking chill. Let's be realistic here. So with that being the case, you know, there's usually a good capacity in the magazines that, you know, are <laughs> five, five, six mags. So with that being the case, I think capacity wise, you're good. Stopping power, you're good. Um, I, I think it definitely would be a good caliber for, you know, a home defense situation. <sighs> now, as I mentioned before, concealed carry just isn't fucking happening. Why? Because, I mean, <laughs> let me show y'all what happens when I try to conceal my AR alone. Actually, you know, let me try to do it with the mag and everything, right? Somehow, actually, I got some fucking spit there. All right, so let me make sure. We are clear, my friends. All right. Keep the safety on, even though I know we're clear. So, let's see what happens when... Oh, fuck that. I'm not about to put the mag in there and do all that shit. Some about it just doesn't feel right, even though I know it's safe. No mag. All right, let's drop the sights down. You see what I mean? I think we can all agree concealed carry is out of the question, guys. Like, huh! You know, like, yeah, that's definitely out of the fucking question. All right, I think we can all agree there. <laughs> like, we can all agree concealed carry is out of the question. I just wanted to prove my point why real fast. So let's move on to SHTF. 5.56 is very, it is extremely mass produced in the USA. That is a good, good thing for it. Uh, shit, most... Most firearms, honestly, that are chambered in 5.56 are usually ARs or AR platformed rifles, which often have interchangeable parts. So parts shouldn't be an issue either. <laughs> you know what I mean? So for guns that are shooting 5.56, you won't have an issue getting parts. You won't. Hey, the fuck? God, she is being a pain this episode. episode fucking Lord, this video. <sighs> See, you're making me fuck up my words. As I was getting at. So as far as, you know, if you need parts for your gun to so shoot 5.56, you won't really have an issue because uh, most firearms that are chambered in 5.56, notice how I said most, most, I'll even say like 60%, you know, are ARs or AR platform rifles, shit like that, same fucking difference, where you can interchange the parts, all right? Magazines aren't going to be hard for you to find at fucking all, all right? Ammo's not going to be hard for you to find. I think 556 five, has a good chance in a shit hits the fan situation. That's just the truth. <clears throat> so, with that being the case, I think that covers the shit hits the fan realistically. Remember, guys, I said it wasn't gonna, this one wasn't gonna be a long video. All right, now, animal defense. This one, in my opinion, it's kind of contradictory. All right, y'all are gonna, you know, like what I'm saying, but not like it, right? So the 223 and 556 are they they are decent hunting rounds for a certain game. You know, hogs, shit like that. Yeah, it is good for that. Um, so that is helpful. You know what I mean? That is helpful. We're not talking about hunting overall, but I, I will say, a wild hog, I bet you money them hoes are aggressive. I ain't even seen one yet. The only hogs I've seen, you know, the, I don't know whether you'd call them wild or not. You know what I mean? I don't know how to explain it. Regardless, I'm not going to go into those details. Those aren't, that's not my story to tell. You know what I mean? So back to animal defense. I think, uh, you know, I, I mean, I think we can all agree without a fucking doubt. This should have no issue, you know, stopping. Let's say, for example, and you know, a dog trying to attack you, wolf, coyote, you know, so that's obviously out of the question. Now, I'm in Florida. There are a couple of things we may have to worry about, you know, and generally speaking, as far as animals go, that is aggressive dogs, alligators, coyotes. I'm trying to think if we really have any wolves around here. I don't think so. 
You know what I mean? I think it's main, I think it's just coyotes, realistically. But uh, coyotes, gators, aggressive dogs, because people fucking let their dogs do whatever. They don't give a single fuck about their dogs down here. Uh, I think generally that's about it, you know? Or at least something that a 5.56, five, you know, <laughs> might come in handy for. But so, it, as I said, aggressive dogs, coyotes, that's out of the question. We already know it's going to stop them. All right. As far as like a gate or something like that goes, there is a possibility. I will say I'm not 1,000% sure. I'm not even 100% sure. So don't quote me on this. Don't say I'm setting it in stone. All right. But, I mean, let's say hypothetically, right, you know, even if your standard 556 five, FMJ couldn't, you know, penetrate deep enough in an alligator to kill it, there are green tip 556. Five, so with that being the case, I don't think, you know, stopping a gator would be the issue. I think that you should be fine with, you know, 556 five, depending on the ammo. Now, I will say I believe that would also go for a bear, things like that. Now, once again, I will say I have not used, I, I have not hunted you know what I mean? I, I'm strictly giving y'all this based off what I know about the rounds themselves, not about the animals. All right. Now, I do have decent knowledge on animals, on wildlife, I, a little bit. Not too much. I'm not fucking Steve Irwin by any standard. <laughs> you know what I mean? So let's clear that up. But I, I do believe that, you know, at least if the, you know, your standard 5.56 five, FMJ can't do the job, green tips definitely will. You know, that, that'll definitely do the job. Uh, so with that being the case, I can give it an okay score in, you know, the nature defense scenarios, you know what I mean? I can give it an okay score. So, I mean, yeah, it gets a pretty good fucking, it, it, it's a pretty good caliber. You know what I mean? I wouldn't own a firearm in it if it wasn't a good caliber, obviously, you know what I mean? But that's neither here nor there. It's, I'm trying to think of an exact number on a scale of one to 10, what I would put it at, because, you know, it, it's. I, I don't know. On the 1 to 10 scale, it is a bit easier with four situations because you can kind of divide it up evenly, you know. So, I'll, for the situations that it can be useful in, it is very useful for sure. I give it a 9 out of 10. That's my personal opinion. You know what? Let's go with 9.5. Let's go with 9. Point, nah, fuck that. 9. Solid 9. No higher, no lower. Plain and simple. Uh, if anybody is considering whether or not 556 would be a good caliber for defending your home or your life or your family, it, it definitely would. It would do the job in a great deal of situations. You got to think about it. <laughs> Why in the flying fuck was our military? I mean, I'm pretty sure our military mainly still uses 556, even though I know uh, the contract they had not too long ago, I think it was a Sig Spear that, you know, was supposed to replace whatever. It's neither here nor there. All right. Five, five, six. Solidly good. Good. <laughs> All right. So something that I'm sure y'all have been waiting to hear. All right. Y'all make sure to. Holy shit. Almost fucking jumped right to the end. Y'all make sure to fucking like, comment, subscribe, share, hit that bell. When you hit that bell, hit all. And because you're like, you know what? It's five, five, six. More fucking, yeah, five, five, six. Yeah, it's, it's all right. It's pretty good. You know, go and check out the podcast channel, Adam Chilling, you know what I'm saying? Centerfire Podcast, Gun Nut TV. Y'all know what the fucking deal is. Just like every video, I'm going to go ahead and tag both those channels in the description below. Other than that, y'all make sure to stay legal, stay safe, stay dangerous. Have a good one. Peace.